All right, what's up, guys? I'm here today with Sophie Win, not Nguyen, Win, right? Win. She stays winning uh, from Soul Gold, Team Soul Gold. And uh, I decided to have Sophie on for an interview. Number one, just because I've, I've admired your hustle on social media. I see you out there grinding. I see you, you know, making people shine, making agents shine with their marketing and stuff like that. And you've also contributed to us as well by participating in our, our recent content event. Yeah. And um, as I gotten to know you a little bit better, I'm like, man, this girl's, this girl's a hustler, you know? She has a story. She has, she's, she's out there trying to make it happen and I can completely respect the business hustle because I know what it's like. So. Thank you. Welcome. Feeling is mutual. <laughs> You're hustling out there too. Yeah, welcome, welcome. So I, um, what I want to talk about today is I, I want to learn a little bit more about you, your business journey. And then I also want to give some of the viewers out there, a lot of realtors and loan officers, some tactical, some strategy, some things that they can do yeah. um, to enhance their marketing and build their brand. That's right? right. So let's start off with just telling me a bit about you. Like what got you into this business? How did you stumble upon this whole media thing. Yeah, so it goes all the way back to 2013 when I was actually managing social media for Purdue University in the Midwest, in Indiana, and did that for three years, absolutely loved it. And then I was about to graduate and Tommy like spoke life into me, my husband, Tommy, mm -hmm. um, who's also operates Soul Gold with me. He's like, you should do, you should start a social media agency. And I'm like, why? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't, <laughs> I'm scared. That sounds crazy. And we moved out here. We didn't know anybody at all. So I had no connections other than Tommy. Um, he's like, just do it anyway. Let's, you should start a social media agency. And so I did that until 2016 to 2021 and then pivoted into real estate media, which is where we are today. I was just ready for a change and it, real estate sound fun. <laughs> got it, got it. So yeah. what was it at first, the, the, the agency that you were doing? Like, tell me more about that. Yeah, so I managed social media accounts for companies. Mm, okay. Yeah, tech companies, nonprofits, anyone who needed social media services, basically. And got I was it. also coaching clients. Got it, got it. Yeah. Um, what did you love about that? Did you, what did you enjoy about that? Maybe what were some of the challenges with yeah. doing that? I mean, so when I'm, the challenges in the business, at least, when I moved here, I didn't know anybody. And so I was actually going like door to door, knocking on like downtown Campbell, because I moved to West San Jose. And I didn't have any, I didn't know anybody. So I was just like, do you need social media services with my business card? Yeah. A business card, my business card sucked. Yeah. <laughs> the font was like 10 point font, no one could read it. Yeah. And I just was like, I need, business. I'm going to go out there and ask people if they need my help. Um, so that was challenging. But I've always loved the people part of it and helping people and yeah. helping them grow their businesses and educating them on the power of social media and content. It's been the same since 2013, 10 years later. Got it. Got it. So what I'm, what I'm hearing is kind of new industry for you getting yeah. started, not really knowing anybody, right? Nobody at all. And, and a whole new state. And I relate that to like our industry, right? Because when you're just getting into the, you know, into real estate, people don't know you yet as the realtor to go yeah. to, right? Or you're trying to tap into a certain neighborhood and stuff like that. And you got to roll your sleeves up sometimes and just get out there. And I mean, door knock or door whatever, knock, right? yeah, flyers, whatever it takes in your guys' case. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it's, it was scary not knowing anybody. Do you ever get any like rejection or anything in, in, in the beginning with that? Yeah, at this point though, I think I always expect no sometimes where yeah. I'm just like, rejection's okay. Yeah. And I actually prefer people say no than leaving me hanging. Got it. Yeah, that's true, right? <laughs> at least let me know let you're me not going to work with me. Yeah, don't let me follow up with you five times. Just tell me no if you're not interested. It's yeah, okay. that makes sense. Um, yeah. So then from there, what made you pivot over into the real estate aspect of it? Yeah, with um, COVID and everything, social media, it just, it was a lot. It was a lot of stress mm -hmm. on me and mm -hmm. my team. I lost a lot of clients because they weren't in business. Like yeah. They couldn't open, so the, lot, the first person they cut off was their marketing team. Yeah. And so I lost a lot of clients, and I just felt the stress and the weight of COVID communication, because that's what I did, communicate for businesses. Yeah. So Tommy was like, hey, real estate photography, real estate media. I was like, go for it. Let's try it. Yeah. I was open to it. Yeah. Got it, got it. So so fast forward, you're now launching Soul Gold was mm -hmm. was it did it start off as Soul Gold or it did. It has never changed. Okay. And it's Soul Gold Marketing and mm -hmm. I didn't want to name it something with social media in twenty sixteen because I was worried what if it what if social what if Facebook like died? <laughs> I yeah. was like maybe I don't have a business anymore. Yeah. So Soul Gold Marketing has always said the same from twenty sixteen to now. It's worse and we'll be celebrating our seventh year this fall. Yeah, seven years. That's awesome. Yeah. What does Soul Gold mean mean to you? 
<laughs> like literally. Yeah. So, like, well, what, what is that? Like, what why Soul Gold, right? So is part of Sophie and then part of social media at that time because I mm. wanted it to be social media, but without saying it. And then gold is just my favorite color. Got it. So gold. <laughs> there we it. go. Yeah. Okay, so let's fast forward today, right? Mm -hmm. you, you're already up and running. You're doing, you know, the social media thing, yep. all the media stuff for, for realtors. Um, mm -hmm. What are some of the challenges, I guess, you face today, and maybe how have you overcome some of those things? Yeah, it's crazy. When I first, when we pivoted into real estate media, like, personal life, mm -hmm. the, the, like, worst possible thing happened, and my brother, he passed away unexpectedly, oh. and my big brother was like, my father figure so that like rocked my world yeah and it completely changed the way i looked at everything in life and that was right right so i launched the real estate media and then he passed away oh, and the, that a couple months later and i'm over here trying to service new clients and trying to make a good impression yeah. on realtors my, yeah. my, my new client base and i'm like emotionally wrecked yeah uh, but what got me through that was surrounding myself with good people, yeah. people who loved me, cared about me, and honestly, without them, I don't know, I, I don't know if I could have made it through. And now we're, yeah. this is our second year in real estate media, and thank goodness it's a lot better. And now you're booming, right? You're taking <laughs> off. At least I, I, from what I see from afar, right? It yeah. sounds like you're picking up some momentum. Yeah, just a lot of that day in and day in and day out, just consistent work. Putting yeah. in the boring work, basically. <laughs> that sometimes it's not always fun and glamorous. Yeah, then it yeah. pays off. And it pays off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's funny, you're talking about, you know, being an emotional wreck and stuff like that. And today yeah. we were talking about that in our meeting, oh, like really? how you feel about yourself yeah. on a daily basis does yeah. translate, right, to how you perform in business. And, yeah. you know, like you said, surrounding yourself with good people yep. helped you get through that tough time, yeah. right? And that's the same thing like we try to create here, our culture here in the office is, you know, we all have our ups and downs, our oh, yeah. good days and bad days, but there's a culture of people uniting and motivating yeah. each other and stuff like that and pushing past those hard times. And right? just deep, deeply caring for people. Yeah. <laughs> deeply caring for one another. And my clients were so gracious. I was actually scared to tell people. Mm. Like, I mean, I just started this new business. Yeah. What were your fears? that they'd be like, oh, I can't rely on them. Uh, We're already a small team in the beginning. Now we've grown since then. Yeah. But it was just me and Tommy. So. Yeah. And I, and I think you, what happens is a lot of times those fears come into our mind and then yeah. you talk to people and then they're just real people. Yeah. Right? My clients are like, take all the time you need. We'll wait for you. My, yeah. One of my clients waited for me to get back from, oh, from seeing my family in Indiana to yeah. put their house on the market, which is crazy. They're listing on the market. I was like, you really don't have to wait for me. Wow. Um, so there's people like that that really encouraged me. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think that also um, it speaks for like your work and your service, right? You're obviously doing something right if someone's willing to wait for you. She was my social media client. Yeah. And then transferred into she happened to be a realtor. Awesome. So, awesome. Thankful. So yeah, it's, it's awesome uh, hearing more about your story. Let's shift gears a little bit, you know, to kind of the second part of this interview and talk about maybe some of the things that you offer, but also how agents are using that to build their brand, right? Because I think yeah. I push social media on, on my team and it's, yeah. it's, there's some people that are all in on it and some people that are nervous about it. Yeah. And um, what I find is that sometimes they don't know what to do, mm -hmm. right? Like where to start. So maybe, yeah. I mean, walk me through what you, know, what you guys are doing or what you see some of the like, successful agents yeah. out there that you're working with are doing. Yeah, a little bit about what we offer. Mm -hmm. So we do listing media. Mm -hmm. So when clients have a listing, they hire us to do the photos and the videos and the Matterport floor plans, all that. So really, I always encourage my clients, which we talked about this in, on, in January yeah. at your guys' event. But with listing media, I always wonder why clients don't post it. They have a listing, but they never share the photos. We so a lot of them don't actually post them. They'll get the photos done and then don't post them. I mean, they post them on the MLS, which is yeah. important, but on their Instagram, on their Facebook. I'm like, the that's wild. <laughs> you get 20 professional, 20 at yeah. least, some order 50 plus drone photos. Yeah. So you, some of my clients have 56, if not more photos of a high end listing and they post like one photo or never. Wow. And I never understand that. Yeah. And I know they might not have time, but they can reach out to me and I can show them how to make, how to make it easier. Yeah. There's yeah. probably a lot of agents that are gonna be watching this that are guilty of that same thing, and right? I, yeah, and you know, you can be gracious to yourself, and I know you guys are busy, and social media might not always be the first thing they're thinking of, yeah. but they're scheduling tools, and you guys already have the photos in your inbox, in your phone. 
They're going on tours every single week. Yeah. Take some photos and videos on your phone. Yeah. You don't even have to have a listing. You could just be out of the house. Yeah. So I think that's a missed opportunity that I always wonder. I'm like, man, people aren't using this. Yeah, they're not using it enough, right? They no. already paid for it. They have it, you know, in their hands and they don't use it. Now, what's the flip side of that? What about the agents who are really using those at a high level? Oh, yeah. What are they doing? Yeah, we have clients who, we have Instagram reels, which you've seen, vertical video. Mm -hmm. um, they buy it every single listing. And if it's even a two bedroom or this huge 6,500 square foot house, yeah. it's like the same. The same amount of marketing, they put the same attention to detail and care, and they're going all out. Wow. Photos are not the, photos are the bare minimum, but still not enough in their eyes. Got it. They go all out. So they're going all out with the reels. Yep. Now, I remember at the content day, you talked about how we can get like, what was it, like 10 posts out of one listing or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Can you give us some of that? Because I thought that was like, that was really, really good. Yeah. I'll give you guys a practical example, that a video strategy that we use that any realtor can use. Yeah. So if you, most, a lot of you have probably purchased like a listing video, like a property highlight. Mm -hmm. And it's six, we offer 60 and 120 second videos. So in that 60 second video, you can chop that up. Yeah. People's attention spans are so short. Yeah. This is probably gonna be chopped up into a bunch of reels, Yeah. right? So in that listing video, chop it up 15 seconds and then you have pieces of content that are already professionally made for you. Yeah. And you don't have to pay more for it. Like, so one 60 second video or 120 mm -hmm. second and then chop that up into a bunch of small bits, right? For yes. that same property. Same property. If you guys go on our Instagram at Team Sogold, you will see, I posted about the same properties like four or five times. Yeah. And all you gotta do is when it's listed, post it. When you have open house, post it again. When it's pending, post again. And when it sells, post again. Yeah. Like you, and it's okay. You, it's gonna be different pieces of parts of that video. Yeah. People won't be annoyed by it. We have great engagement on those posts. And just be yourself. So yeah. now if you were to post, cause this is like, I'm thinking like an agent. Well, yeah. someone already saw that, right? Or they already saw me post that property. Yeah. Like, how do we get past that, right? Or what's the mindset behind that? Yeah, I promise you, I'm gonna break some hearts maybe. Yeah. No one's looking at your Instagram more than you are, Yeah. period. I get new followers every day on Instagram. They yeah. don't know I posted about my clients listing two days ago. They yeah. don't care. Yeah. They're not looking. So I encourage you to just post it more than once. Yeah. And if people are really that bothered, They'll unfollow you. They'll unfollow you. You don't want them anyways, right? Exactly. And they're not going to be your client. So, yeah, there's more good than bad. Yeah. And, that, and that's when you start thinking that way, then it opens up so many more possibilities, right? Now it's like, how can I leverage every single thing I do? Everything. Right? Team meetings. I mean, what yeah. you're already doing, you're killing it on social. Oh, you're doing you. it. Yeah. Leverage everything yeah. and document instead of trying to cre create content. Yeah. And that's, yeah. Not, that's one thing I had to get past because... When I first started doing social media, I always thought I had to create something new, right? Yeah. And then uh, if anybody follows uh, Gary V, he's oh, like, I love it. document, don't, don't create. create, right? So just document what you're already doing. And when I, when I learned that concept, it was like, well, man, now there's endless possibilities, right? Where I can keep documenting stuff. Uh, I have DJ, you know, who's shooting this now. He just mics us up during our team meetings. Yeah. And some of the best content we have is from our team meetings because it's real, it's raw, it's unscripted. I love right? your content. You and are absolutely documenting instead of creating. And you've you. leveraged somebody that's expertise is in this stuff yeah. that helps you build your brand. Smart. And in the beginning, I was doing all the stuff I'm myself, sure. right? I was the one, I bought a camera, I was mm -hmm. trying to figure it all out because I, you know, I'm interested in that stuff, I like it. But then I got to a point where I realized that I needed a professional to do that so yeah. that I can focus on the quality of what I'm doing yeah. and not so much the technicality behind it. Right? So true. And that's where we come in too yeah. for our agents. I'm like, we can make you a reel and have it delivered to you in 24 hours. Yep. And then now you can take that reel and chop it up easily on yep. Instagram in the app or in CapCut exactly. or one of, these, one of these apps that you can use. And right? even making reels with your listing photos. Yeah. Oh, with the photos. I do it all the time because I'm not always on every single project to try to get behind the scenes. That's true. So if you go on our Instagram, you'll see just, I rotate it. Yeah. People, home, people, home. People. So is that like your formula? Mm -hmm. Like, is it what real or then photo? Like, t tell me a little bit more about the formula. Yeah, when it, I don't try to post too many houses consistently, mm. I try to add people because people do business with people. Got it. Yeah. So the more people you can show in yeah. the images, the more engaging it's going to be, right? I mean, we right? have an office full of people here, so yeah. they're always together. Hey. They have each other to leverage. I, you see my husband and our team on there a lot because yeah. that's who I'm around. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and I think hopefully whoever's watching this that opens up their mindset, right, to mm -hmm. like, I don't only have to post my property. I can post myself. Mm -hmm. I can post someone else in the yeah. office, yeah. right? Mix it up. I mean, we went to Taco Bell the other day, and yeah. I posted on my story, and it was so many people were like, that's the best Taco Bell in Pacifica. I love yeah. it. You'd be surprised. People can connect with you. On yeah. It's not always like, wow, this is an amazing home. Yeah. They're like... I want a Baja Blast. I'm like, yeah, it was good. And, and let's touch more on that, right? Because I think a, a lot of people who are getting started with building their brand, they think mm -hmm. that everything has to be this glamorous, you know, this polished, like mm -hmm. perfect type of thing for them to post it and people to find value, but it's the opposite, right? Yeah, I totally agree. I think perfection is overrated. Yeah. And we have the saying. I yeah, what was you saying? Say that again, because I think that yeah. was good. Well, I take, I, I credit Craig Rochelle. He's the one that I got it from, yeah. but it's Get Mo. Get Mo. Good enough to move on. Good enough to move on, Get Mo. And when it comes to social media content, especially, not what we do at Soul Gold. We deliver our clients the best. Yeah. But for social media content, it's Get Mo. If you stutter or you say, um, just yeah. trim it out or just leave it. Just leave it's it, really right? It's really fine. Yeah. Makes you real, makes you like it a human, you, right? Yeah, and be yourself, be authentic. Yeah. I think a lot of people try to find, like my clients will come to me and show me someone on Instagram. They're like, I want to be this person. Wow. I want this listing video just like this. I'm yeah. like, she lives in Dallas and she's blonde hair and energetic. I'm like, you look nothing like her and you're nothing like her. Yeah. You're more calm, cool, collected. Lean yeah. into that. So I'm like, just be authentic. You know, that's something I struggled with early on. Um, and I've, I've been open, you know, about this on social media too, where I posted one of my first videos that I ever did. Yeah. And it was me wearing the suit in the tie. And <laughs> now I look back, this I'm like, oh, head. that was hideous, right? Yeah. Because people that really know me know that I like, I grew up playing drums. I played oh, in rock bands. Really? I, you know, I, you know, they know the other side of me, yeah. right? So then they see me on social I media. More of that. Post more of yeah, that. right. I <laughs> wearing the suit and the yes. tie. I was trying to be who I thought I should be. Yeah. Because, you know, the people that I was seeing that were successful in the in the eye was these top producers, the million dollar mm -hmm. listing guys. And I was like, well if I can only be more like them, then I would have the more results. Success right? Like them. And it was the opposite because I didn't feel like myself. Yeah. You know? I feel that. And that's when I talk about like um you know, using Drake songs yeah. and like rap and hip hop, you know, whatever your vibe is, yeah. lean into that. And I've been able to attract people who also like the same thing. Yep. A lot of people on your team. And at first I was nervous. I thought they'd find it unprofessional. Yeah. But I'm like, I can't stand corporate sounds. Like yeah. I don't want no corporate. I'm just not corporate. Because in reality, that's not how real people are, no. right? That's not how people are. That's what yeah. people think they should be. Yep. But behind the scenes, everyone is imperfect, right? right? Exactly. People say bad words. People yeah. drink alcohol. People do things, yeah. right? Like we're all regular, we're all pe people. regular people, right? We're trying to just make it. Trying to make it, right? Trying yeah. to build, trying to grow our business, you know? And the I more that I leaned into that, yeah. the more that I felt comfortable. And then the more, like naturally, I started attracting people you know, mm -hmm. who are a part of that. Yeah. And then the more our business grew. I can right? agree more. But and just being more authentic. Yep, my Instagram filters out people who yeah. don't want to work with me. Yeah. Same for you and same for your team, I'm sure. We all have people who we mesh with. Yeah. And social media helps you filter out people who aren't a good fit. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. And I think the caveat to that though is just make sure you're good at what you do, yeah. right? Because I think that's the other thing too, is sometimes, let's say you're just being, you know, like I dress down now, right? I don't, I don't try to dress too fancy nowadays, but yeah. if I'm not good at what I do, I don't know my stuff, yeah. then that's gonna be a, looked at negatively, that's right? That's so true. Yeah. So I think if you are gonna be authentically you, Make sure you're also really good at what you do as well. So right? true. Practice what you preach. I couldn't be on here telling you guys, post your listing media if I posted once in the year. Exactly. Yeah, it just doesn't feel right. Because people are yeah. going to see, like, you got to lead by example, Always. right? Yeah. Like, hey, it's cool that I like to wear sneakers, but I also know my stuff. I also mm -hmm. spend a lot of time studying the market. I also have sold a lot of homes, but I wear sneakers, right? Amen. Why but if I didn't, sneaker game? if I didn't p put the time and effort into the business, and I only was, yeah, wrapping this whole, I, you know, this sneaker vibe, yeah, right? Then yeah. it, it just wouldn't go, right? So I think that's yeah. the main thing: is be yourself, but be good at what you do. Yeah, and take right? the time to learn. Take the for time me, to learn. I've been in social media for, I've been using it since 2006, but professionally for 10 years now. Yeah. But I'm constantly learning. Constant. I'm never feeling like I have I have it all together because I don't believe that I do. But mm -hmm. I just keep learning and refining. Got it. Yeah. Um, another question. Mm -hmm. Someone that's just getting started with social media. Yeah. 
Do they go Instagram? Do they go Facebook? Do they do both? Do they do TikTok? What, what's, what's the starting point? Well, I guess who, if it's real, we can, it depends on who we're talking about, yeah. what kind of business, but if, if I were to say realtors, mm -hmm. it kind of depends on your audience. Like who are your clients? Yeah. If your clients are millennials mm -hmm. or I don't know. Gen Z, I guess, are buying homes. Depends if you're like a TikTok star or something. Yeah, yeah, living right. In those like million dollar homes in LA or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but it really depends where your audience is. Yeah. Where your audience is and what do you enjoy? If you hate Instagram, don't use Instagram. Yeah, it's true. I find people forcing themselves, like clawing them away through to just like, oh, I just got to post. Yeah. But it, like for me, I don't it like LinkedIn. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's very dry. It it's is too not dry connected. For me. I don't post on LinkedIn. Yeah. And I don't. Myself. I've tried. I've tried to force myself early on, and then I just found that I would post on the other ones, and I would always leave out that one because it just wasn't my favorite one to even look at. I know. I'm like, congratulations on your work anniversary. I'm like, uh, uh, yeah, they yeah. don't even read it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So really, if you're trying to get started, I would say pick what you like. Pick what you like, and then like try it, to get good at that it, one. Right? And try to get good at it. Yeah. Instagram is yeah. obviously my favorite. Yeah. And that's where all of our business comes from. This Instagram and yeah. referrals. And I think that's the other. It's a good point you make. Is you don't need to be on a bunch of different platforms, right? Like if you just get good at one, it right? And you crush it in that one, you can build a, you know, a big following and get a lot of business from that, right? Yeah. And then as you build your business, you make more money, you can hire someone to help you with the other platforms. Yeah, so exactly, want, you know, right? Whatever. I think that's what happens with people is once the successful ones, I see they get really good at one and then yeah. once they're really good, it's easy for them to jump on something else because they've already built the following, the, the habits, the audience, all that stuff, right? And the, and the loyalty. The loyalty, yeah. yeah. Good that's stuff. Good. All right, last, last thing and I think we're going to wrap up okay. is um, any closing thoughts, any pieces of advice for anybody who knows they need to build their brand, knows they need to market themselves, but they mm -hmm. just are hesitant or yeah if i mean i guess it would be defining why you're hesitant to like are you fe are you fearful of enter the I don't know, fill in the blank yeah um but for me i feel like you just have to get started and remember get mo don't focus on perfection or you will never get started and you just kind of have to take that step if you're feeling hesitant yeah i don't i feel like people look at social media like this really big thing yeah but it's a free platform that yeah. you could just sign up and start posting and there is someone that you know on social media oh, that you absolutely. can start getting connected to immediately. Yeah. It's so much better than it was back in the day. Yeah. Uh, some, somewhat. Yeah. yeah. Can you, you think you can build a big business without social media in today's era? You're speaking to the social media person. Can you build a big business? I'm sure you, I mean, there's lots in of- In real estate, like, yeah, can you? Probably because I think it's been done before, but why not leverage a tool that yeah. is so powerful and it's like in your hands? And it's free to start. Yeah. I mean, I don't. We don't pay anything. Yeah. Instagram pay will pay you to post. Yeah. Like you should set up that bonus on Instagram because you post a lot of reels. I got paid out from Meta just because they're like, post five reels and we'll send you money. Hey, I didn't. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, like now, it's like. <laughs> When my daughter's like, yeah, you're always on your phone. I'm getting paid right now. I'm buying Chick-fil-A with mm -hmm. this. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Right? I was like, team lunch. We're going to Taco Bell, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> my thoughts is is I think you I think you can build a, a business, right? You can be successful in real estate without social media. Yeah. But I think you're making it a lot harder on yourself, right? Yeah. It's like trying to, can you walk uphill, right? Or do you want to like yeah. go downhill where it's going to go a lot faster, right? So good. I always say to you, social media is like the window to your business. Yeah. Like people can look in that window and if they like what they see enough, they're going to open that door and want to do business with you. Yeah. I mean, if you're not on social, we're out. I look up every single realtor who reaches out to me on social media. Yeah. If I don't feel like they're trustworthy, I'm super skeptical. Yeah. I've had people where I'm like, this is spam. Yep. And maybe they could be real, but their social, their online presence is just not... Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie. Anybody that you know hits me up to want to be on our team mm -hmm. or even clients, I go look oh, them up on social media. What are they posting? And I try to see, like, especially if it's an agent that is considering joining my team, I'm like, too. how are they the spending their weekends? The what are their? Yeah, like, yeah, this person seems cool, or no, nah, this person. They're not a good fit. I don't know if they're gonna be a good fit. Because you know? it's the window to. Yeah. To your business. Yeah. And the analogy is like social media is like the modern day website. Right. Oh, one, yeah. It's I, like your website. It's like your online resume. That's that's what it is. I purely have a website to have one, but but it, I mean, how much traffic is actually going there, right? It's. 
I mean, besides clicking the link in my bio on Instagram is where I get my yeah. traffic. Other than that, it's all the social it's media. It's all the social right? media. That's yeah. That's where where it is for me, at least. Good stuff. Well, I think there was a lot uh, that was shared today. I appreciate you coming on. It's good to hear more about your story and how you got started. And like that gives me like so much more, even more respect for you, um, which makes me even want to root for you, right? It's like, I see you. I know some of the stuff you've gone through. I know some of the struggles that I've had. And I'm like, we all yeah, have we gotta, we got to help each other. We got to collab. that's where you rally and yep. you support each other. Yep. And I, I only want you guys to be successful. That's why I'm always like sharing your stuff. But it's a genuine yeah. thing. I'm like, and I have tons of realtors on my page. That's opportunity for you. Yeah. I mean... It's a win-win. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, how do people get a hold of you? You guys can honestly Instagram. Instagram, all right. <laughs> Team So Gold. Team So Gold. There you go, guys. Sophie Win. <laughs> Team So Gold. Yeah. Thanks for watching.